Hello everybody, that's right, the stash is back and it's uh, pretty ugly. Anyways, today being Thanksgiving and all, I thought I could review a movie that would fit with the holiday pretty well. Ew, no, no, not, not that. I was instead thinking of this movie nobody has ever seen, Blood Freak. I mean, it can't beat Blood Rage, that's like a classic. That isn't cranberry sauce already. But hey, it's worth giving it a shot, let's watch it. We live in a world subject to constant change. Every second of every minute of every hour, changes take place. These changes are perhaps invisible to us because our level of awareness is limited. Who will become a catalyst? Or who will lead us to what? What is the catalyst? So the movie is about Herschel. He's a guy on a motorcycle who helps a young lady whose car broke down. Naturally, she invites him to a party where people are smoking weed. You mean they smoke pot? But turns out she's a religious freak, the kind that don't have sex. God says that anything that is not of faith is sin. And, well, that's a major turnoff for this major league hunk. But when the Holy Spirit of promises comes, he'll guide us to all truth. Yeah, you, you might want to do another take. Promises. Meanwhile, the religious girl's sister is the complete opposite. She smokes weed, she loves sex, and, well, Herschel gives in to his temptation and smokes some weed with her. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was abrupt. Uh, and then they have sex. <laughs> Any man. Oh. So, it turns out one puff of marijuana gets Herschel addicted to the point of throwing himself on every couch in the house and making weird faces. Because that's how drugs work. In completely unrelated events, Herschel gets a job in a turkey farm and gets offered the chance to make extra money by... scientists, I think? What, what are they? And if you want to make a little extra money, you can help us with some of our experiments in the lab. Anyways, all he has to do is eat turkey and test the results. God damn, it looks delicious. Man, are you making me hungry. Whoops, there, there's a little piece sticking out of your mouth. It's wiggling around you. Oh, here you go. Well, this delicious experiment went pretty well, I think. Oh. Jesus, buddy, are you okay? What the fuck is happening? <gasps> so Herschel is supposedly dead now, even though he's clearly still breathing. Oh well, not breathing is pretty hard. All we did was do, give this guy some turkey. I mean, you could do another take. So after this remarkable scene, Herschel wakes up and yes, has a giant turkey head now. That's what they're going with here. And what does the turkey man do first thing after this horrifying accident? Well, of course, has sex with his girlfriend. What are you doing? Oh my god. I guess she's the one who'll get stuffed tonight. Oh great, it's that guy again. How, when we come to moments of despair, Stop looking at your script. Moving on, the giant turkey man is still addicted, but this time not just to marijuana, but instead to addict's blood for some reason. Now this is the point where you might start noticing that this movie is very well made, it's very professional. I think it especially excels in editing. Anyways, finally we get some horror scenes in this horror movie. It's just been like an hour, but no rush. Because now Herschel goes on a murder spree. He wants that pothead blood. It would be pretty cool if only they didn't reuse the same fucking scream over and over again. Stop! Oh 
hopefully things could get back to normal. Okay, so Turkey Man isn't quite satisfied yet, and he kills another drug addict to drink her blood. Uh, that looks pretty cool, actually. Jesus fucking Christ. Now, as you can see, he drinks the blood, but if you look very closely, you can notice that he's actually just holding his hands in front of the paper mache mouth. But don't worry if you didn't notice, it's very easy to miss. It's seamless, really. Okay, what happens next? Some guy just shows up and gets strangled. <laughs> Then another random guy suddenly appears. Who are you guys? Since when do you exist? No time to answer, because this 50 year old dressed as a toddler is really pissed. So he parkours a little bit and then stabs Turkey Herschel in the head. It's brutal. <laughs> Phew, thank god it's over. Okay, time for one last kill, and this one's pretty nice, actually. Herschel the turkey man cuts some guy's leg off, and blood suddenly appears. It's really, it's, it's seamless. Overall, it's a fun scene. They actually used an amputee, and they just poured blood out of his leg. It's pretty fun, although the screams are once again very annoying. <laughs> We're nearly done, friends. And so is Herschel, whose giant turkey head gets decapitated by a machete. But then they cut to footage of an actual turkey being beheaded. Fuck you, movie, didn't want to see that. And then, yummy. It ends with people eating a juicy turkey with Herschel's head next to the plate. I don't know. This movie's fucking nuts. But then, what's this? After this lovely meal, we cut to Herschel on the ground. Could this be? Yes, they did it. They used the infamous it was all a dream trope. You know, the, the most satisfying way to end a movie. I've been close Good job. In the final scene, Herschel begs God to help him, and this guy shows up once again and starts a monologue about drugs and stuff, and then he coughs a lot. <coughs> <coughs> and that's the end. What the fuck is this film? If you thought Thanksgiving was bad, wait till you get a load of this. Blood Freak has Ed Wood, <coughs> Ed Wood levels of incompetence from the horrible acting. You mean right now, this very minute? Hmm. To the horrible sound design. <laughs> what? What'd you say? The horrible editing, the horrible plot, that same scream sound effect used about a hundred times. This is quite an experience. The film isn't necessarily so bad it's good, it's just awful, barely watchable, but it is an experience worth watching. From what I could gather, it's basically a religious propaganda film showing that drugs and sex are sins and will make you grow a turkey head, unless you become a Christian. The narrator tells us about how drugs are bad and they're gonna kill you, but hey, what's that you're holding there in your hand, buddy? Oh, it's, it's the thing that kills millions of people every year. But yeah, no. <laughs> Do drugs and you'll get addicted and die. Words cannot describe how fucked up this movie is, and for that reason alone, I have to recommend it to everybody. Just torture yourself and see how far you can make it before your head explodes. I give it a cranberry sauce out of a mutant turkey head. Okay, well that's about it for the annual Thanksgiving special. One of these days I'm gonna have no choice but to review Thanksgiving. Thankfully this day hasn't happened yet. So happy Thanksgiving, I hope you have a lot of turkey, and as always...